joined us last time, and by us, I mean me, you may recall that this guitar was not shiny. Now it's shiny. So shiny, in fact, that I could use it to not shave in. Anyway, the clear coat's on the guitar now. So, at this point, it's time to polish it. And I've already done several videos on polishing, including at least one or two t tutorials. So there's no point in me doing another tutorial on it. But I'm just going to do it real quick here. I'm using a dual action sander, which you don't actually need. 1500 grit paper, 3000 and 5000. Keep in mind that when polishing, the higher, higher the grit that you can sand to, uh, the easier it's going to be for you to polish it out. I'm using a 3 inch buffer with uh, two different sponge pads. One a little harder than the other. And for this one, I'm going to use the liquid ice polish. While I'm at it, I'm also going to polish out the clear coat on this custom plate that I made. Uh, because the customer asked me to make a custom plate for the hole in the guitar here. Custom cavity plate. If you haven't seen the video on that, it's made out of aluminum. Uh, that promotes, it, it's conductive, so it, it basically shields the guitar. Uh, the electronics in it so that you don't need copper shielding and stuff like that and uh, in order to have those shielding properties I left the back of it bare. This is just bare aluminum on the back. The top's obviously painted black. So I'm going to polish these parts, start by sanding and then obviously polish them out. If you are curious about how that works, you want to see the process, I have a couple videos on it like I said and they cover it in depth. So without further ado, let's get started. So in case anyone was wondering, this is what 5,000 grit smooth looks like. Pretty friggin' smooth. It's, it's basically still shiny, uh, but I've sanded all the gloss off of there. It's just sand it so smoothly that it looks shiny. You'll notice that I haven't sanded all the way to the edges. And I recommend that if you're polishing, you don't sand all the way to the edges either. Clear coat builds differently on edges when you spray it. It, uh, it basically doesn't build up properly on them, right on the corners, it doesn't get enough. And if you try and sand right up to them, the tendency is for people to sand right through it. Believe me, you don't want to sand through your clear coat. All right, so we're on to the polishing part of the polishing process now, if that makes sense. Take a good look at your polish before you start using it. A lot of them are toxic, so you'll kind of be able to tell by the smell of them, or if you've broken your nose as many times as I have, you really won't be able to tell by the smell of them. So just make sure you have a look, and if the women's symbol for toxic is on there, should probably wear a respirator. Well, it was shiny before. Now it's even shinier. Well guys, that about wraps up this project. So we've got the guitar, which I think is looking great. and the custom cavity plate that goes on it. So I'm gonna ship this back to the customer now, and hopefully he's happy with it, which reminds me, Theodore, thanks again for choosing me to, to paint your guitar. It was fun, I had a good time. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, please subscribe if you wanna see other guitar painting tutorials and demonstrations and all the other nonsense that I put on my channel. And I hope you found the series entertaining. See you next time.